Welcome back to Pelicans.com. Look, we've got our new swaging press machine here. So this is where you can make your own slug. So we've got different die sets here that you can get from 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, uh, 6.35, sorry. And then you've got them in a 30 cal. So for now, we only sell them at the moment. We are waiting for other dies to arrive. We've got it in a 6.35. So this is pretty easy to use. You can have your handle, as you can see, from the left to the right. It depends on how you are ambidextrous or you want to be a right-handed or a left-handed press. So you can change that over. So let's just go into how this thing works quickly. So you'll see there is our lead wire. So what you do is you take that lead wire and you put it into this cutter. Then you'll get these little things pressed out for you. If you can see that, look at them. Nice little pellets, right? Um, so from there onwards, you're going to have to, let's say for argument's sake, you want to make a slug that is 36 grains. Just go make this thing. Um, you have to have a scale as well. Then you have to measure uh, the weight of this. It should be around about 38 grains, uh, you know, 2 grains more than what it should be. So this... Let's have a look here. So we're going to quickly check there. This one is going to be a 57.2 grain. All right. So this one in a, in a sense is two more grains more than what we're going to press. Because why we're saying so is when you're putting your pellet right there and then it presses down, it's going to take out all the excess, you know, that two grains out of these little weep holes so that it can press it. So Tinas will show us quickly how it operates. Check there. You put it in. And then he's going to press it down, nice and smooth, firmly, all the way down. At the back, you'll see it ejects your excess leads. Then come back down, and there is a swage slug. Just remove it, and we can show you how it looks. Look how beautiful that thing has been made, nicely swaged. Look at that, it's got a nice hollow point. This is the cup base that we've got in, so you can have different inserts that you can put inside here. If you can have a look at that, that is the cup based one right there. So you can install a flat base, curved base, whichever one you need. So just come down to pelicans.com and you can see how it looks. Then otherwise you can always change the weight of your pellet or your slug moving this thing up or down. So the more you go down, the smaller it's going to be. The more you go up, the more lead you're going to have to use. So remember, always check how much that is. So you're going to have to cut these things exactly the same weight, and then you'll get the exact same swaging slug out of that. So guys, thank you. Come down to pelicans.com and find more information about this, and we'll check you again. Thanks a lot, man.